Buckus and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Coriel, so Cor E L or Cori L. And if you are not new here, you already knew my name. I just reminded you so you never forget it. But thanks so much for coming back for another video. I am happy to have you here. Okay, so today's video is going to be, couldn't tell by the title already, it's going to be about the pros and cons of a tongue ring, tongue piercing. This ponytail is kind of bothering me. So, yes, pros and cons of a tongue ring, tongue piercing. So, I don't have any film or clips um, from when I got my tongue pierced, but I did get my tongue pierced at the end of 2019. I think I got it pierced in September of 2019. And this is what it looks like. I hope my tongue don't look dirty. I hate when tongues be looking all nasty and caked up. So that's what it looks like. And I love it. This is like my favorite piercing out of all of my piercings that I have. Um, I honestly will start off by saying that there are definitely more pros than cons in my experience. I don't really have many cons, honestly, so I kind of feel ill-equipped <laughs> making this video, but I just want to be honest. So the pros are, well, let's talk about the pain first. So honestly, um, I have a medium to low tolerance for pain and this piercing, I, I don't feel it hurts, but for me it hurt, but I tensed up. Like, you know, if you've gotten a piercing before, you know that you're not supposed to like flinch or do anything when you're, when they're about to put the needle through. They want you to take a deep breath in and then they stick the needle in and then breathe out once the needle goes through. And it hurts still, but it helps out with that. With me, what I did was I went, like I tensed up when she put it through. So I just, I psyched myself up and it hurt more than I feel like it should have because after she put it through, it, it didn't even really hurt. Um, as far as it goes for healing, because it didn't hurt much when it got pierced, it did start hurting a little while after, like a few, I say like a few hours later, once I started trying to eat, you will have trouble with like when you first get it pierced, your mouth will be kind of sore. Everybody's a little different, but in general, most people like you're gonna it's gonna be tense it's gonna be a little sore like you're not gonna want to be eating stuff that requires you to chew a lot or anything like that like soups teas um ice like things like that um that can just kind of go through or just kind of sit sit in there that doesn't require you to do a lot with your tongue are going to be the best because if not it will irritate it and then you will have pain that's what i will say because that's what happened with me um, but after I tensed up when she pierced it, then I didn't need to, and then I relaxed and just let her finish what she was doing. It hurt when it went through, but it, it didn't hurt as bad once I started relaxing. And then, like I said, later on with me eating and trying to do too much after I had got it done, then I start, if it start feeling a little tender, like to sore a little bit. Pros, I would say are obviously it gives my mouth a pop. <laughs> um, I just, I've always, even since a little girl, like a little, little girl, like elementary school, I've always just liked tongue rings. I like the way that there's something like when you're talking, like if someone that I don't know meets me or they see me talking on a video or something, they can see it in my mouth. So even if they don't know that I have a tongue ring, it's like intriguing. It's like, you want to look and see like, what is that? Like, what is that in her mouth? Like, you know what I mean? Especially because this one is pink. Like, it's just so cute. Like, I just love tongue rings. So that's one thing I feel like you, you know, you're one of the, like the cool people in the population. Like your tongue has an accessory to it versus everybody else's that's just there, like a tongue, you know? As far as any other pros for tongue rings, I honestly couldn't say because it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, and the reason why I'm looking up is because I'm looking at myself in my camera uh, or in my mirror ahead of me, just to see like if there's anything about it, like while I'm talking that is jumping out to me because I'm looking at it in my mouth. But there aren't really many pros to it. Like there aren't many cons either. The only con that I will say is sometimes like with certain words or letters, I have to overemphasize a little bit like like the and um things that require your your tongue to push to the front of your mouth a little bit so the um like just things like that i can't think of another one but things with t's and things like that like 
sometimes if you're not if you don't talk fast enough it may get caught a little bit and you'll get through it like it's just natural you'll talk around it but if it's if you if it really bothers you you might have a lisp for a little lisp for a little while um and then another thing is i don't know if it's just me but i kind of feel like my mouth is a little bit dry like sometimes i feel like my mouth is drier than sometimes i feel like my mouth is wetter because i have it like i don't know that could be because i smoke and stuff or it could be because i'm talking fast but i don't know like i feel like ever since i've gotten this i hear more of the clacking in my mouth and i feel like i didn't like hear like clacking with the the ring the, or the jewelry hitting my teeth but also like smacking noises when i open my mouth like like that like i don't know if that's because of this or what but that's one thing that I will say is a con because sometimes when I'm editing my videos or just listening to myself talk or even just like that, I feel like I have to like slow down and go and like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think you get the gist of what I'm what I'm kind of hinting at. Uh, but I didn't notice it until after I got this. I would say that's it. It's a cool piercing. I don't think I'll have this piercing forever. I don't plan on taking it out anytime soon. I love it. I feel like it's a great part of me now. Those are the main things that I can think about. If you saw my last video where I recorded about uh, get ready with me while high, um, you all know that I'm experiencing some issues with my phone. It keeps bugging me about storage space. So once it gets full, it just cuts my video off and I lose my train of thought. But just to wrap the video up, it's really just a simple, easy piercing. It heals quickly. It's easy to wear. Doesn't get in the way. Doesn't stop you from speaking. Doesn't cause any impediments. Like I said, you may have a lisp if you are a slower talker in the beginning stages, in the healing stages. You may have a little lisp when you're learning how to move your tongue to say certain words and use certain letters. There's a piece of jewelry in there that is kind of hitting against your teeth and that's kind of a little bit in the way of that. So it'll take a little bit of time getting used to, but you can, you'll get through it. It's not, it's not impossible. It's not unbearable. And most people won't even notice unless you just like make it a big deal. Um, and yeah. If you have a tongue piercing, let me know what you think. Let me know if you used to have one. Like I said, I don't think I'll have this forever, but I don't plan on taking it out anytime soon either. Um, and I don't know, who knows? I may have it forever. I might be that cool grandma like, huh, huh. But right now it's just cool. Like, yeah, it's hungry. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video like share comment and subscribe comment down below if you have any ideas on videos that you want me to post or things that you want to see me talk about what you thought about this one and if you're considering getting one if you have one if you have had one let me know what you think bye